reform fourth madam sir the fifth uh, one uh, regarding this i have read an article of yours where you compared the telangana police force with the tamil nadu police force and you mentioned you would double the salary of the tamil nadu police force uh, i would like to ask you the question what made you to notice the difference between the tamil nadu police force and the telangana police force this is a study done by the bprd the bureau of police research and development we have a central government organization sitting in delhi which studies which is supposed to do only research on police department anybody who is doing a research bprd is the research body where you get all the data i was very astonished seeing the salary component of each police force entry level sub inspector level inspector level deputy superintendent of police level because sp level we are the ips rank so our salary is uniform across the country because the central government fixes our pay so sp ig dgp same salary chief secretary level 14 level 15 same salary but below that police is a state subject the central government cannot say a constable should be paid same thing in india a sub inspector should be paid because it's a state subject but ips comes in the concurrent list because you are the all india service when i found i saw the stark difference between policing of different states now i am going back to singapore madam when lee kuan yew was the prime minister of singapore he said i am going to have a basket to decide a public servant salary he put some people in the basket he said your school principal neighborhood school principal will be in that basket and other jobs will be in that basket i will take the average of that salary that salary i'll give it to a public servant a judge or a police or something because his theory was when you allow people who are on the front line like a fire service officer or a cop or a, or a, or a, or a cop who's in the beat if you keep their salary down if a guy who comes from out of iit what is the top pay madam 10 crore 12 crore <laughs> trade trade secret sir the multiple crore multiple crore correct multiple crore now you tell me the guy who is going out of iit chennai getting that multiple crore package is he more important than my village school principal honest question and you might say yes sir he is going to solve the world's problem and naturally companies have to pay him multiple crore now my argument would be no the village school principal is also solving the world's problem by creating 250 students every year who are ready as good citizens for the country he is also important so when society prospers when you have this artificial artificial way of salary and wealth creation what happens corruptions will prosper and suddenly as it guy you go to a police station you all any of you have gone to a police station in bangalore i used to have this problem every day big guy speaks only english comes to a police station sir please check my passport very fast and the guy will say no problem here get me one bundle of paper tomorrow it will be done no, one bundle of paper how dare you ask me a bundle of paper when i was a student in in engineering he asked me four green ink pen to process my passport so paper uh, keeps very now this guy believes oh i am doing all the hard work i am here for working for 17 hours i don't see my family you come in a fancy car you say you are it guy i am supposed to protect you in the middle of the night where my children don't see me i do patrolling around iit chennai campus and you and crore rufi so vicarious pleasure of saying can you at least get me one square of paper so as a society for a politician of like me this is the challenge for me now break it and make sure the public service is accountable you can make the public service accountable only if the salary is commensurate with the work they do right else when the twin towers got collapsed who who died more is it the morgan stanley or the city bank guys died more or the new york firefighters who died more new york firefighters who died more because they said the building is collapsing it is gallons of fuel poured on a steel steel is melting but the first set of firefighters when they came they said i am going in no matter what i am going to get killed no matter what at least can i pull 10 people out so if you, if you read the 9 by 11 commission report by the us congress it's a fascinating study how people in the front end of public service knowing fully well they are going to die they enter can you give them peanuts to survive 
so that is my theory madam increase salary for a start when they die in the line of duty take care of their children's education for the future make sure even when they die in a profession which is in the cutting edge of public service a firefighter a cop a principal a traffic warden maybe small people we might not even realize as a society if you don't take care of them then we don't have any right to call us as worthy citizens of a state this is my thinking on that matter thank you hi sir i'm raguram from i'm raguram who has been following you from the past i have a question for you yes sir it's like how are you planning to collaborate with other stakeholders like opposition parties for betterment of tamil nadu and the nation sir 